So you can tell by this cover that you are in for a treat today. So this guy, Echos, I think that's how you say his name. I'm suddenly, Echos 22, right? Uh, so also known as the Earwig. And um, I'm suddenly questioning the pronunciation of his name because I think he might be French Canadian and I could be wrong on that because I don't know him personally. But I love his work. I mean, this you can see from this, this guy can really, he can really illustrate. And his stuff is so multi-layered and there's loads of tech. And uh, let's shut up and get into it. So he signed it. I don't know him, so he didn't sign it to me or anything. But at least he signed it. The year with 22. I mean, you can see already from this illustration that he is uh, he's a bit special, this fella. Damn, he's good. He's so good. Lovely throwy style. Because he's the real thing as well. He's um he's uh, he does very gnarly stuff. His character work is fantastic. Look at this, all traditional as well. Traditional art. Some lovely sketching. Look at that. Great bit of tech. I love tech. I've got to draw more tech. Got to draw more tech. Going to draw more tech. There's a there's a resolution. Interesting sketch work. Look at these faces. These you know you can see he's just working stuff out. He's working at and he's gonna stylize his faces and all that. There's a beautiful piece. Great composition. Look at this. So these lines come in like this. It's all directing you to this, to the central piece, draws the eye. All great illustrators can do that, you know, draw the eye. It's all about the use of space and negative space. Now look at this. Exchange with Bonsai. Lovely. Really love it. So you've got Dave's beautiful letters. Dave's a real lettersmith. He's an amazing lettersmith. And then this is the earwig. He's got these, this great style where he differs in, in line weight. Look at the, look at the big sort of chunky line that goes into into this tiny little thing that flares out again. Big flary line, tiny little thing, and flare. the energy that he's that he's sort of conveying in those lines so impressive. And this stuff I'm absolutely mad about. Look at that style. What a style this guy has, and that. Oh damn! I mean, I look at that and I go, God, I wish I could do that. I absolutely wish I could do that. So good. Vodka. I'm assuming that's Vodka, who's uh, the uh, the British Vodka. Yeah. Anyway. And then you get it, so... Is that Soffles? Are these Soffles? Oh, well, will we? Why not? Um, look at that. Throwy style. It's slightly dirty. Beautiful. I mean, look at the energy in it. That's the big thing I, you, you can take away from this. Look at the movement and the energy. It's so energetic. It, it sort of jumps around on the page. And then you've got this amazing sort of tech, overlappy, deep, three-dimensional style. Throwy style that you could easily see on a wall. Great little character there. I mean, he's got everything, in not he? He's got everything. Look at this fella. Great gun. I love gun illustration. He's really good at it. This guy. Brain in a cylinder. Love it. Absolutely fantastic. Again, the movement, the dynamic of line. This guy really understands how to how to illustrate energy and movement. That's a great one as well, isn't it? Look at that. Where to even start with that? That is a busy, busy page. Beautiful in the best possible way. Lovely illustration there. Very different again. So you can see you could do very traditional sort of illustration and portraiture. Then you've got this fantastic piece here. Oh, I love it. Look at that. That's like something out of a... What's that fella's name? Aphex Twin. Like something out of an apex to it, but look at how look at the look at the, the perspective he, he used. Look at the colors used in the background and the way he moves it. And 
it, it's just it's so impressive. Such an impressive illustrator, this guy. Some spray in the thing. I mean, this is just amazing. See, for me, what I look at here is that I look at the way he's, he's taken, he's got so many different colours going on as well, as well as the composition, which is gorgeous. So many different colours working at the same time. And he makes it work. He pulls it off. Love the dimension. It's enormous head, this tiny little hand. And again, you know, caricaturists and, and character artists, we have to learn to stylize characters. You know, I often do quite big hands and and big faces and little bodies and that kind of stuff. And that is great, isn't it? If you want to learn to draw tech, this guy draws really beautiful tech. Then you've got this gorgeous sort of figure drawing there. Use brown card. You can use black line and white pencil. And he's used, obviously, he's used spray as well. Uh, yeah, gives you a lovely texture. Look at these characters. I mean, these are badass. I had the stickers to these as well. I had stickers of these. I mean, look at this guy. Look at the detail on him. So good. So damn good. Mm. Again. Oh, I'm lost for words. You know. it, it, it's just... To me, this stuff is absolute perfection. Damn, look at the movement in that. It's moving all over the place. Great big sort of flare lines, pulling in really tight and then flaring it out again. And again, movement. Sort of, have you noticed the dirty fill as well? You know, some of it's beautifully, perfectly filled, some of it's dirty, some of it's not outlined. So, again, you know, you've got to be brave to do that as an illustrator. <laughs> it's just so good. That is lovely. Look at how complex. I've got a canvas by this fella. It's a really nice canvas. And uh, his work on canvas is pretty much the same as it is. Yeah, I don't know what medium he's working in there. I don't know if he's a big digital head as well. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Look at the composition of that. Look at, so... He, so he's got a big character in the foreground. He uses all that, and it's very detailed and everything. And in the midground, he's got these these two characters, very simply drawn, but you know exactly what they are. Then the background, he's just got a very very simple background that he hints at the background there. And there you have it. It creates a whole piece, and it's beautiful. Just great illustration. I love that, a little flare bit up there. So good, so good. Lovely characters. So these characters again, look at the look at the surface he's working on. He's working on sort of uh, a dark card. And you get some really great effect when you work on dark card with pencil. This is my top tip of the day. Look at the effect he's got. He's used pencil in that hair. And you get a really, really great effect. Alcohol markers as well. Pencil, you use paint markers. So you can mix all the media up, basically. Get really, really nice effects. Try it for yourself. Look at that. He's used a white he's used a white pencil for a shine. Just put a tiny bit of heavier shine there. That's a beautiful effect. So you get a much more sort of, I hate to use this word, but a realistic lighting effect. He's done it here as well, look. Gorgeous. He's used, he's used like a white pencil. And he's used a tiny bit of white paint pen in there just to highlight it even more. It gives you a, a variation of the way that light hits the surface. Because that's how light genuinely hits the surface. If you look at the way he's done that, that turquoise bit there. So you've got a, a white bit where it hits it 
full on directly and then you've got a lighter turquoise where it doesn't hit it as directly and then you've got darker where it barely hits it at all mm, so good so good study the way that light hits objects that's how you uh that's how you learn to be a better artist see these are all beautiful aren't they? this is all paint by the looks and i think this is canvas work gorgeous absolutely gorgeous crazy <laughs> and look at that man dude that is is that a canvas i think that's key ass canvas work and that's a, that looks like a big brush stroke there so he's using he's using lots of different types of media he's using spray paint he's using brush he's using uh pens or whatever and paint i mean that's gorgeous that is fantastic look at the depth there you feel like you could pick out and reach and pull bits out of it you know so good here we go on the wall i mean look at those lines look at these for first lines i love first lines. my first lines were like that except probably even messier uh, i love messy first lines beautiful piece there absolutely gorgeous There's that final piece on a production wall. Again, look at that. Oh, look at that. So good. That's a busy one. Really busy wall. I prefer walls like that, personally. Because that's a bit busy for me. There's an Echo's piece. There's his piece there. Quite a gnarly one. I might have got... I might have got it wrong where this guy's from actually. I, I, I should have paid more attention. These are great. I mean, look at it. It's so good. So that last one's California. This is Arizona. Is he from America? I thought he was Canadian. I might have got that completely wrong. Great. Sorry, fella, if I'm getting your, uh, getting your stuff wrong here. Because I've got nothing but props for you. Love the bonsai, the close exchange. He's a great artist, Dave Bonsai. I wish I had something to show you from him, but I don't think I don't think Dave's done it. Actually, Dave did we me and him did a book about sketch work. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll flip that. He's a great I love one. Absolutely love what that's an excellent piece. Just excellent. Great character. Oh. Nice urban environment there. So he's still he's still dropping tags, you know, he's still dropping his gnarly tags on uh, on big signal poles and stuff as well. Freight work. Mm -mm. Oh look at that. Just incredible. Look at that, so cyberpunky and mad. And that, oh, big nasty robot. Killer droid of some kind. Love it, man. Oh, here he is doing his. Um, is that a canvas work he's working on? I don't know, something nice anyway. Beautiful. So good, so good. There you go. And that's a big um what do you call it gatefold cover or whatever. That's not quite gatefold, is it? But you know what I mean. Yeah, I can't I can't come up with enough superlative for this guy. I don't know if this book's still available. Um the year week twenty two, Echoes twenty two. If it is, get hold of it. Again, I'm pretty sure he's still on Instagram, so I'll I'll Hook you up with his uh, his Instagram name, but you've got to go and check this guy out because he is seriously good.